India is preparing for the general election and let's bring you the very latest from India's political pulse on India's political pulse. The political drama in the South Indian state of Karnataka seems to be slowly fizzling out. Two of the Congress lawmakers in Karnataka missing since the weekend have returned to the state. Both denied that they had struck a deal with the Bharatiya Janata Party but reports of poaching attempts are still doing the rounds. A senior leader of the Congress party in the state claimed that he was aware of what transpired in Mumbai and how much money they were offered. Even Chief Minister H.D. Kumaraswamy said that all the dissent, dissident MLAs were constantly in touch with him, but he says he's confident that his government will not be shaken. My number is uh, actually sufficient number is there with me. Why I have to operate with BJP MLAs? Everything is okay now, sir. Everything is under control. Don't worry. Yes, sir. The Congress has even called for a legislature meet on Friday and claims that all its lawmakers will turn up. The party has claimed that the BJP was attempting to destabilize the alliance government and capture power through what it calls Operation Lotus. Remember, this was the term coined in 2008, Operation Lotus, when the BJP engineered defections of opposition legislators to ensure that its government headed by Mr. Yadirappa remains stable. But the BJP has leveled a counter-allegation now. The party claims that Kumaraswamy's Janata Dal Secular is trying to poach its lawmakers. It has even ferried all 104 of its lawmakers to a luxury resort in Gurgaon near New Delhi. The official reason was that the party was preparing these leaders for the coming national election. So as this coalition in one South Indian state was feeling the heat, the outlines of another possible coalition were taking shape in another state. Telangana Rashtra Samiti Chief K. Chandrasekhar Rao reached out to Andhra Pradesh's YSR Congress Party today. A high-level meeting between leaders of the two parties was organized as KCR continues his efforts to forge a non-Congress, non-BJP front ahead of the 2019 poll. The Telangana Rashtra Samiti, the TRS, is the principal opposition party in Andhra Pradesh, while the TRS is currently in power in Telangana. If this coalition comes through, these two parties could work together to fight elections on 25 Lok Sabha seats in Andhra Pradesh and 17 in Telangana. Telangana Rashtra Samiti's chief has already held talks with the Chief Minister of West Bengal, Mamata Banerjee, the Chief Minister of Odisha, Naveen Patnaik, Janata Dal leader and former Prime Minister H.D. Devagoda. He's also spoken to former UP Chief Minister Akhilesh Yadav and DMK leader M.K. Stalin.